for us. But first, of course, we have to learn something. And to do so in the weather, we turn to Scott and his weather whiz kids. Yeah, well, you know, we it's the kids that ask the great questions, right. and I just scramble, and I talk to other kids to get the answers. No, that's not, not that part, but uh, we actually share some good information. When I went to Eagle uh, Middle School uh, this past week, I'm going to go back again in April to talk to some of the other kids as well. Had some great questions, and here's a great question, and I'll have an explanation of why this question is being asked. My name is Taylor Aaron, and I go to Eagle Middle School, and my weather question is, how does a cold front bring thunderstorms and clear weather? Taylor, great question. What Taylor was meaning is, as she was doing research on cold fronts, she would see some books say that cold fronts bring precipitation with it, and then other research saying cold fronts bring clear weather. She was a little confused. How exactly does that work? Well, what it's talking about is depending on at what part of the cold front and, and what's the, the overall forecast after a cold front passes. So here's what a cold front looks like, a cross section if you were to slice the atmosphere. There's the blue line I was showing earlier today, the cold front coming on through. And as these track to the east or whatever direction they're heading in, behind it there's drier weather. But because it's cold air that's coming in, cold air is heavier and denser, and so it stays close to the ground. As it does, the warmer out ahead of it, like we had today, rises. And that rising air cools and condenses and makes clouds and precipitation. So we have lots of showers today and even some thunderstorms because the air rises rapidly and violently just ahead of the cold front. So we had thunderstorms and thunderheads developing just like this. Well, once the cold front passes, the air is sinking. You see these arrows here. That air is sinking and it tends to dry out. So fronts will bring precipitation with them, but they also bring the promise of clearing skies behind. And that's exactly what we're seeing tonight. We have the showers and uh, precipitation. It is all moving to the east and now we are drying drying out as that cold weather moves right back in. So guys, this was a great question and a great answer, and it was timely. I kind of thought we would have a front coming through tonight, so we timed that question for tonight to show you that this is pretty much what's happening right now. The dry air's coming on in. They watched yes. your extended forecast. They knew it was coming too. That's right. <laughs> we saw it roll on through, that's for sure. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Fox 9 after this.